Welcome back to our channel. Let's start with the news today. The world in Ukraine is tearing families apart. One woman shares her harrowing journey to safety. Russian rockets are forcing many uh, Ukrainian families to choose uh, whether to stay or go, or even leave behind loved ones who can make uh, the treacherous journey out of the country. Elena Baleya fled Kyiv to uh, Poland with her two years old daughter, sharing videos and uh, pictures of uh, a uh, helicopter uh, overhead as they were trying to escape. Belaya said she was worried they wouldn't uh, even make it uh, to the border. Belaya said it was um, 5 uh, 36 a.m. and she was uh, catching up with the news on her phone when she heard something like a big burst outside and uh, I sent my husband to look what are going on outside. He said that yes, something really is going on but very far. Then we started to look uh, through the news and uh, we realized that the world had began, she said. They decided to leave uh, for the Polish border but her husband couldn't go with them. Ukrainian men age is uh, from 18 to uh, 60 are buried to from uh, leaving the country. It was most difficult time in this situation. He said that I must save uh, our child uh, and uh, go to the place of safety. And uh, he convinced uh, me to cross the border alone, alone only uh, with my child. At the border, uh, Belayer said they uh, encountered long lines of uh, cars and uh, they had to walk uh, 30 kilometers to across into uh, Poland. It's were very, very hot because I don't know the Polish language. Uh, I don't know Poland uh, at all. I have only money for several, several weekends uh, to live. For this money with uh, my try is like something very unknown to me and because uh, of my try uh, I made uh, this step. I couldn't let my husband go for a very long period of time. We were crying and we were hugging, she said. I realized that I must stay strong for my daughter. It's a big mission for me to protect my daughter. b -layer said her daughter as uh, every day when uh, daddy is going to be with them. She uh, takes her husband constantly to check he is still alive, she said. For now, she living day by day in hostel with uh, about 40 other refugees, including children with uh, only uh, the clothes she has on her back. She said her daughter has made uh, some friends and it's like a kindergarten here. They are holding out hope uh, that one day their family will be re reunited. We must survive and uh, I think that uh, Ukraine has a big future, she said. This is the end of our news today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for our channel. Thanks for watching and have a good day.